welcome to the channel guys we're gonna watch uh, this is I'm gonna get my picture down here just to try to get it I'd rather be down with the chair legs and not in front of that guy's face I think so uh, let me make that picture just a little bigger see how I'm down here out of the way and this one I've always loved this video because you know this is where Angelina gets the uh, reputation for being the boss okay she is in this one I don't see her date her age on here but I think she was somewhere in the eight or nine year old range, possibly as old as 10, but I don't believe so by the looks of her, okay? I think she's more along in the eight, eight year old range. And they're doing Portrait of a Child, which is a Screaming Jay Hawkins uh, song. And I don't know how much you know about Screaming Jay Hawkins, probably not an awful lot, but he was a, a singer back in the 50s and the 60s. Uh, he went up into the 70s too, I think, because I saw him, I think that's when I was. Uh, I saw him sometime back in that time frame, 60s and 70s. And not saw him live, but I became aware of him and listened to some of his songs. And he was a crazy dude, man. And uh, Angelina, so Angelina's doing one of his songs that's really kind of a, a deep, like most of the Screaming Jay Hawkins stuff is fairly deep, although I put a spell on you, it was both deep and theatrical. But here, this one's kind of a deep, a deep one. I guess uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins apparently was a, a, a thinking gentleman who put a lot of thought into his lyrics and how they connected with uh, all the rest of us, I guess. So let us listen to this because Angelina, there's quite, a, this is so interesting, I think. I've always thought this video was very interesting. Let's get busy. Everything she
portrait and I need you a portrait and I Isn't it interesting that this this little girl, you know, I, I've said this before, Angelina definitely is music, definitely. Okay, I don't think there's any debate about that. And I mean, some of you may say, you know, no, she's, you know, she's she's just a human being. Yeah, that's that's true. I believe that's true too. You know, many things can be true at once, right? That doesn't mean that uh, other things are excluded because some things are true. Necessarily, I mean, some things may be mutually exclusive, but uh, in this case, Angelina is a is a uh, obviously a uh, young young person, a girl, and she's. Uh, but she knows music, man. Music, she is music. I believe that's true, and a lot of times I refer to her as an angel because a lot of that we get that from her name, Angelina, right? But. I've always been fascinated with, uh, you know, the stories about angels walking among us. Why? I think because I'm always looking for proof of uh, uh, things. Okay, I'm going to stay out of the specifics, okay? And well, only because I don't like to have, I'm trying to keep my channel a, a music sanctuary, okay? And trying to keep the other stuff out if possible. So, but I, then I start bringing it up, right? <laughs> yeah. Get, go figure, right? Make your rules, then break them. So, uh, I'm not really breaking. I'm trying not to break them. That's what I'm doing right now. But it's relevant because, you know, when I refer to Angelina as an angel, I guess I see an angel as a messenger from some greater power, okay? And I don't know what power you believe in. And I, that's to me, I, I believe everybody would be best... I think the world would be a way better place if everybody believed in something positive, okay? And I think that that also helps us be at peace with certain things when we're faced with adversity and troubles in our life that, uh, you know, if we believe that there's a higher power that's basically is a guiding hand, um, and, you know, I think that helps you be at peace with what happens, okay? Because... You know, there's not much you can do about it anyway. So maybe being at peace is a, is a good thing. So that, that's a weak that's a weak thing to say, but it's something. I, it's the only thing I can think of right at the moment. So we have uh, Angelina here, and she knows music. And these guys, there's to me, there's a little learning curve when Angelina's with people that maybe she doesn't work with real close all the time. She may have played with these guys a lot of times. I don't know, but sometimes I think there's a learning curve. Some people just can't. That little girl. She ain't telling me what to do. I already know what to do. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. Okay? Uh, you ain't getting away with that. Yeah, she knows what to do. And uh, I think the sooner these guys realize that, the better things come together. Even uh, the older, I think the oldest guy is the guy on the right, right? If he's over there somewhere, maybe on the piano uh, or the keyboards, whatever you call it. I think, you know, I, I, I think sometimes with maturity, too, people can come to an understanding that, yeah, she knows. <laughs> doesn't matter how old she is, she knows, okay? And I think once you accept that, then things go along a lot better. So what happens is Angelina, only being eight years old, or, yeah, I think she, I'm, I'm almost positive she's eight years old in this video. Um, I should just say that she's eight. And she, um, in these early stages, on occasion, you'll see Angelina, there's a, there's a rehearsal video where they're on a stage somewhere, I forget the name of it. And there's some things that aren't going quite right. And Angelina looks to me like she gets the attention of whoever's with her. It's probably her mother or Grandma Mary or Uncle Mike or all three are in, sitting out in like an audience. They're on, they're on a stage uh, practice and performing, uh, rehearsing. And she gets, I think she gets their attention for them to go speak to the adults because it's kind of like... Uh, they're not listening to me, so why don't you step in and help me out here a little bit, you know, mom or whoever. And I think her, I think her mom and grandma and Uncle Mike, I, th you know, they're there with her all the time. They're there supporting her, protecting her, whatever it might be, managing her in Uncle Mike's case. And I think mom and grandma too are also involved in all all the aspects of it. That um, uh, you know, I think they are, they have the wisdom to let Angelina work it out for herself. 
sometimes you need to do that. At eight years old, well, make, make me a case why the person that knows what's going on shouldn't be doing the talking, right? And maybe sometimes you're not able to clearly communicate what you're trying to say. That could be the case. Um, not because of, uh, necessarily because of your age, but because of maybe language barriers or whatever else. But I think and maybe just an understanding barrier. You know, Angelina's understanding of music may be so high that mere mortals are unable to uh, grasp some of the concepts. I don't know. Okay? Or maybe she, her understanding is beyond her vocal ability to communicate that or to articulate it. I don't know. Um, what do I know? I don't know. I'm a carpenter, okay? I used to be, and now I'm retired, so now I don't even swing a hammer anymore. But uh, I, play, I play pickleball and make YouTube videos, all right? Walk my dogs. That's about it. Clean, clean my house. I got to tell you, that's a full-time job, actually. I don't know how I did that when I was working. So, uh, yeah, there's all that. But, the, you know, it's, it's just amazing when you watch this video how much she really does command, uh, uh, has a great command of music, every aspect of it. Isn't it? Isn't it amazing? All right. Let me end there. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate you coming. And we'll see you. Have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.